Hello, today I'm going to talk about the difference between 음자, 음자고. Most people understand 하자, meaning is let's do it. Then what is the meaning of the word 하자, 고? Let's check it out. When you want to play basketball, you ask your friend, 야, 농구하자, meaning is hey, let's play basketball. But your friend is not interested in playing basketball, then you say, 농구 하자. Now you are pleading by changing the pitch. 농구 하자. Please. But let's say there is no responses from your friends. Mm, they just keep using their cell phone. It's really annoying, right? Then you get angry and say, Hey, I said let's play basketball. Can you hear me? Let's play basketball. This is the meaning of 고. 야, 농구하자고! Of course, you can say all of it. Like, 야, 농구하자고! 내가 말했잖아, 안 들려? But, you know, I always say, Koreans, we omit a lot. So, you can omit this part. 야, 농구하자고! Just add the letter 고 at the end. It's enough. It can explain all. It makes it a totally different sentence. And also, just changing the pitch, you can express it in so many different ways. Okay, now let's practice. 운동하자. Let's work out. 운동하자. Please. 운동하자. Come on. Let's work out. 운동하자고. Hey, can you hear me? I said let's work out. 홍대 가자. Let's go to 홍대. 홍대 가자. Please. 홍대 가자. Come on. 홍대 가자고. Can you hear me? 밥 먹자. Let's eat. 밥 먹자. Please. 밥 먹자. Come on. Let's eat. 밥 먹자고. Hey, can you hear me? And also it could be let me do something. For example, 자자. Let's sleep. But people around you keep talking. You can't sleep. So now you are pleading. Oh, 자자. Please. I'm tired. But if they don't listen and continue talking, you reach your limit and explode with frustration and say, 잠좀 자자고! Hey, shut up! Let me sleep! And this word, 좀, is intensifier. And the other useful example is when somebody keeps interrupting while you are speaking, first you can politely let them know that you like to finish first. But if they keep interrupting you, 말좀 하자고! Shut up! Don't interrupt me! Let me speak! It's useful, right? Just add the letter go at the end and change your tone of voice. That's all. You know, I teach Korean and I meet a lot of different people. But most of Korean learners overlook the importance of the tone change. It's very important in Korean language. So please practice 하자! 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 하자고! These examples. When you're really comfortable with these tones, you will know a lot of Koreans use the same words but different ways with these tones. I hope it's helpful for you. I'm sure it will be helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me. Thank you very much and see you next time. Bye!